to the channel my name is joanita and welcome to episode 5 of the you don't have to buy it series in this episode we'll be making one of my favorites chapati it is a very popular dish or snack in uganda and also not that difficult to make so i'll be showing you how i make my chapatis welcome to all the new subscribers all the new viewers i hope you enjoy this episode and don't forget to like comment and subscribe let's get started so i have about three cups of flour in my dish and i'm going to add three pinches of salt and then mix that together very well using my hands you can also sift the flour but i won't do that i'll just mix it then i'm going to add water so i haven't really measured the water i just add water and three tablespoons of oil now and i'll add another later so for the water i just pour and then mix and pour some more and mix until i fully have mixed the flour into a dough Towards the end it gets a bit tricky when the dough is coming together so remember not to add too much water that overwhelms and then becomes too sticky and then I'll also add one more tablespoon of oil just to bring everything together So after I've mixed my dough, I'm going to leave it to sit for 30 minutes because it makes the dough softer. Next, I'm going to get a pan and make sure the heat is not too high and not too low. And then I'm going to start rolling. So I do it um, synonymously. As the pan is heating, I'm rolling my dough, so I have to be a bit fast. Yes, so I'm going to roll my dough into a perfect circle, as perfect as I can make this circle, of course. And after rolling, I bring my dough into the pan. And note that I haven't added any oil prior. So I just do this so that um, the sides cook just a little bit i leave it for like one minute just to cook a little bit and i learned this in foods and nutrition in my class so i found that this makes the dough softer so when you turn is when you add oil we shouldn't add too much oil so be careful of that and then i'll do the same for the other side When our chapati is ready, we shall remove it and you're going to do this procedure for the rest of the chapatis. You roll, roll the chapati and then fry and this is how it looks like when my chapatis are all ready, looks delicious and ready to eat. I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye